today I want to save you money with this. Yeah, I'm going to show you a little technique on how you can avoid doing a mechanical aeration this year. And it's not going to be out there stabbing the lawn with this thing. That's just silly. But what we are going to do is test and see how much resistance we have in our soil to see if it warrants getting mechanical aeration. Now look, here's the thing. This video is designed to save you money, not spend more. So I want you to realize there are good things about aerations. There are also times when you just don't need them, and that's what this is going to be about. So let's just see what we can find out today. Hopefully this does a lot of good for a whole lot of people out there. It's the time of year where spring aerations are very popular. Aerations and dethatching are coming into play for most lawn care companies and some small businesses and things like that. It's also a time that for cool season people, um, particularly out west here, a lot of aerations take place in the springtime. What I want to do today is show you how you can avoid paying for an aeration or doing a service that you don't need or that your grass really isn't going to benefit from. And we're going to use this tool right here, something every single person has in their garage, in their kitchen, somewhere. You've got a screwdriver. So this one right here has about a four inch shank on it. And all we need to do, if we're gonna test and just see how compaction is in the lawn, is take that screwdriver and if you can lightly press down and look, I mean, no, no real heavy pressure. If you can sink that down into the ground, you probably do not need to get a mechanical aeration this year and you can skip it. Now, if it's different and you find yourself out there shoving and shoving and shoving, trying to get this thing down in the ground, there's two things that it could be. Number one, could be that your ground is just extremely dried out. That's entirely possible. And maybe you should be checking to see how your irrigation is or if you're just low on rainfall or something like that. For the most part, if your soil is holding any kind of moisture, it should be as simple as that. Down below in the description, I have a link to a video. It'll also be linked at the very end. You can take a look at that and it goes way into depth about the times, the reasons, the who's, what's, why's, and fours that you are going to do aeration. So check that link. It'll also be connected at the end of the video. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of a little bit weird, but I'm gonna cut away to something that I filmed yesterday because there's some really good information. I just didn't really like how I communicated everything, so I had to reshoot some stuff. But watch in the background. It's almost like, uh, I don't know, some sort of crazy wildlife video. So yeah, I mean, aside from the little bits and pieces of snow mold you can see up here and all of this stuff, the lawn looks pretty good. But here's what I want to show you, and this is what you need to be doing. If somebody comes along and just says they want to sell you an aeration because, hey, that's the best thing you can do for your grass, um, no, don't do that. Do this first. Walk out there, give a little push. So let's talk condition here and why I do not do aerations on my lawn. I've never had a mechanical aerator on this lawn. I never will have a mechanical aerator on this lawn. It is absolutely pointless for here. Now, if you look behind me, you see this debris. This was all caused by voles. Voles are uh, a little bit bigger than a mouse, not quite as big as a rat. And they burrow under the snow and they eat in these little pathways and they just kill the grass. Now, this is going to get cleaned up actually in a video coming out later this week. So I've been leaving it here even while everything is sort of coming together and the lawn's greening up. But the overall condition of the lawn coming into the springtime is fantastic. It's growing rapidly. I have not started irrigating and I'm not gonna do that here for a little while. At least that's my goal. The ground is soft and it's always soft. It doesn't matter if it's summertime, springtime, fall time. I am always able to get something down into the ground. One of the most important things about having a lawn is tending to it properly. It's feeding it regularly. It's making sure that you're driving roots and not just forcing top growth all the time. The thing that helps me the most is I am very heavy on my biostimulants. There are products that I put down on here that make sure that the ground is staying soft and the roots are growing deeper. And I'm gonna do that maybe two or three times a year with light applications that cost next to nothing. That was a pretty neat trick, I think. Uh, I don't know if I could do it again. I feel like lightning only really is going to strike once, but let's just see. Okay. Okay, so let's say you do encounter some resistance. 
What if you can't just easily push a screwdriver down into the ground? Well, it might be time to take a look at some mechanical intervention. Maybe. That's kind of going to be up to you. If you continue to have this problem and it's something that is compacted all the time, it's time to look at what you can do to sort of switch up your entire situation. Whether that's changes in how you're feeding, adding biostimulants to get the roots down deeper, adding more organic matter to the turf itself, something to help loosen that up. You can do this the best if you're prone to heavy compaction, get your mechanical aeration, do a top dressing with some compost, some sand, some topsoil, start working in something to make the ground not want to seize back up. Because in a residential lawn, you don't really need to be aerating every year. So there you go. I just saved you some money. Now, like I said, $250 is a bit arbitrary, but if I hired somebody up here to come and do this place, that's about probably what it would go for. I remember back in the day when you could call a number on a sign and get a $20 aeration. And well, this could even save you 20 bucks. Here's something else. These two videos right here will help you in your journey and you should try clicking that button and see what happens. I don't, I don't really know what it does, but try it. These two, vi vi click and these will go, you know.